on Thursday, guys. I'm Ebony W. Tomorrow, Austin. Awesome. And we wanted to talk to you guys today about how to self-invest. So we did this on Instagram a few weeks ago. Shaggy. Yeah. It was like mad weird. I think the government was in on the. On Yo, the real talk. <laughs> like, real talk. My phone's been glitching. <laughs> like lately, I'm sitting here like, what am I doing in the world? Because I'm on the phone with somebody and yeah. it glitches, and then it, I can't hear them for a few seconds, and then it kicks back on. And I'm sitting here like, CIA? Is that you? Am I on your radar yet? Might be. So we don't know. But we decided it was best to bring it to your phones via YouTube. Yo, go ahead and save this value. Go ahead and like the video. That way you can come back whenever you need to. Like, get some subscribe, more. follow me, follow him. Follow us, follow us. <laughs> Yay. But anywho, guys, so we just wanted to get jump on real quick and talk about self-investing. And as a business owner, as a mother, as a student, as a teacher, as a coach, as a everything that I freaking do, I've had to learn to separate myself and invest in myself to take time away, to become selfish in order to become more selfless in the long run. So there's a multitude of ways of self-investing. And Mr. Lawton here, he gave me the idea for this topic when he interacted and met with a photographer. Go ahead and tell the story. All right, so I met with one of my photographers that she takes a lot of my pictures and we had a brief discussion. We were at the Cheesecake Factory, so yes, even trainers do have cheat meals, side note. But we were talking about just pricing for like how much I charge for my personal training. So I was running a special during May, so you get for a hundred dollars you would get unlimited classes for the entire month so let's just say you're like busting your butt you come in like five days a week right you do that for the course of four weeks for me on my side that's like five dollars a session so you would only be paying five dollars a session and most people spend more money than that on starbucks and stuff like that should be like Clearly, uh, ten dollars for a cup of coffee right coffee with so, some sugar and fat and then you're not even getting a stock of the company and this I don't buy Starbucks. Exactly. This is five dollars without tax, so <laughs> another, another side though. It's just a pure five dollars. But anyway, so I was telling her that, and she was like, "That's that's kind of expensive." And I was like, "Okay, let's just dial this back a little bit." So how much would you charge from one of your sessions, like a family session or something like that, for photography? She said that she would charge a hundred dollars for an hour and a half, and. To me, that's still pretty like low cost when you think about the editing and everything that goes behind it. But I was like, if that's what you want to charge, then sure. But if you gotta think about it, that's a hundred dollars for like one session, and you're giving them like a certain amount of pictures. But if I let you come in, you have to think about it the same way as editing. If I let you come in, it's not just like five dollars a session. I have to set up the plan, set up the meal plan, do a bunch of background work, talk to you when you get frustrated pretty much be like a therapist. There's a, so much more that goes into personal training than you just showing up for an hour. And you're getting all of that for $5. So that's what inspired my whole little rant on Instagram and had everybody like DM me preaching all that other good stuff. But that's how so I, I saw it. It was just like, let's expand on this topic. Because a lot of people, they ask, how do I do 50 billion different things? Even when I'm going through the trenches of life, and still able to have a smile on my face, still able to push and motivate other people. And I'm like, it's because I invest in myself. And it's not necessarily like investing in your business, which that also does lead into investing in yourself, but it's more so taking time out for you and learning what drives you as a human, not as all these different titles, but what drives you to be selfish to replenish your emotional and mental and or your mental health cup in order to continue giving to everybody else. So the first topic that is, for me at least, I'm secretly a nerd, is education. Just to explain to him all my nerdiness. You know. um, we won't get into that. <laughs> but um, education, for me, I love books. I love reading books. I love getting education for books. I love reading blogs. I love listening to audio. Um, I love Gary V. Gary V's the shit. Okay. Um, sure. Gary V. Uh, Inky Johnson. Um, 
I have this whole Spotify motivational podcast I listen to, especially when I'm down, man. I'd be like, I am the best. I am going. I may not get it today, but damn it, I'm gonna get it. I listen to ET when I'm down because ET you just need is good like, too. Kind of just preaching to you. Well, like, that's who brought ET down to them. Uh, ET brought him into it, and um. So he's like this football player from Atlanta, and he went to Tucker High School, and he got himself injured. He was told he would get like this scholarship deal. Um, he had just had played a certain amount of games. He gets the games. They get like to the final one. They're like calling him, "Yo, you, you about to get this deal? Get this final touchdown?" Right. He goes out there, yeah. shatters. Sheesh. Yeah. And so he flipped that and turned that into motivational speaking and everything like that. And he used his background and how bad he had it growing up and how most of Black America has it. Yeah. Um, and flipped it around into inspiring other people. Okay. And so listening to his stories is just like, I feel you. I feel you. Not on everything, but I feel you. So I listened to different audios and then I, what, one of the things I love to do is these trainer talk Thursdays. I love interacting with people. I love giving out some of this information because like I said, I'm a hoarder of knowledge. I love books. For real. Love books. I got a sample of that. She's hoarding a lot of information. So, I love giving it out too. Um, and that's what led me to do Trainer Talk Thursdays is me doing this, me connecting with everybody helps me invest more because it forces me to answer these random questions I get it forces me to go and dig deeper into rabbit holes and research more information to acquire even more knowledge to give out. So this is one of the ways that I self-invest. What is the way you self-invest in regards to education? So going back to what you said before, when it comes to books and like for me, I just recently graduated from college in December. So when you think about books and from a school mindset, like we've always been forced to read, like especially in like high school and younger, it's like, oh, you have to read about Christopher Columbus and you have to do all this. So really once you get out of that mode of school reading really take some time to invest in what you're interested in for me like i never liked reading when i was younger i was like this is stupid i don't want to learn about history not me you're and a then, yes <laughs> and then I'm once library <laughs> i told you i told you she has a lot of information <laughs> my mom was like what do you like you enjoy being a punishment mm -hmm. why because it gives me the peace to just sit and read all day <laughs> i used to hate that i would get so good just be Stuff. She yeah. take all my books from me once she realized that I enjoyed it. wasn't no TV. It was no more books. No! So, continue. Oh, goodness. I don't even know how to follow up to that. But yeah, guys, so definitely like take a chance to actually learn about like what you want to read for yourself. So for me, like self-help books, Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker, I always recommend this book because it breaks down the different ways that people learn. So if you start with that book, it's a really short book, but it pretty much like people are audible learners, people are visible learners, yeah, and then you have people that style. like, exactly. So once you learn what the best way that you learn personally, then you'll be able to say, okay, I can do audio books or I can read, or I need to like watch YouTube videos, whatever the case may be. You just need to figure out how you learn. So one of the ways I invest in myself is one, by doing that, figuring out how I learn. So I do audio books as well. Uh, the MF CEO Project by Andy Frizzello, that's a really good podcast. You really need to listen to that. It's a really good one. Um, listening to Trainers Talk Thursdays, going to networking events, doing stuff like that is how I invest in myself. And then also outside of business, I think like especially as young people, we fall in scenarios where we're like, okay, we're not at a certain point to invest in this because we feel like we're too young, whether that's oh, let me go on this trip or I shouldn't be doing this because I'm not at this point or let me invest in this course, but it's like my business isn't there yet. So if you have the resources to do it, you want to go ahead and do it because no matter what level you're at, you can always bridge that gap when you start to invest and get that knowledge. Um, speaking of investing, the next way you can self-invest is removing yourself from debt. If you feel that you're not at a certain level to achieve a certain goal because your money is not where it's supposed to be, then remove your debt. It's not a, it's very much easier said than done, but it is possible to be done. 
Um, one of the tasks that I tackled this year was eliminating one debt every single month. And it's been hard, it's been difficult. I've had to scale back a lot on the things that I thought was necessities, but they're not in life. And it's made me open my eyes to how much we really spend on stuff we don't need. Like, For sure. we don't. But it helped me see, okay, you know what? I have an extra $20 this month. I can either go and buy a cute new shirt, because this shirt it ain't shoes these days, it's $20, or I can put that in savings and pay off another part of this bill so that interest won't be higher once this bill hits. Little small techniques to negotiate and to negate your debt structure, because we live in America, we all have debt. We do. A lot of, some of us are able to get a from under it some of us are not and you cannot actually have money if you have debt because everything you bring in has to go out to somebody else so in order for you to start saving your actual own money and maintaining and keeping and using that money to invest into stock and bonds and IRAs and CDs and all that other stuff you have to actually own that money you can't own that money if you owe it to somebody else so remove yourself from debt. That is a key to self-investing. And there's so many books, there's so much knowledge, so many webinars, seminars. Um, talk to an accountant, talk to a math, a, a math, you're an accountant? That's your degree? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, talk to a math student was gonna be the next thing I said. Who can help look at your finances and be like, okay, let's shift some stuff. Sometimes we can't comprehend what we're putting out in order to gather more money. And it, it, you need a second eye to be like, you spent $300 on weave this month, huh? Right. Even being an accountant, like, you still need that. You right. need someone else to look it's at. It's like my degree is psychology. We all have psychologists. Every psychology just have a psychologist. We all have therapy because we all got stuff going on. Do. You need someone to double check. That's why America's America and we have a whole double check system. And if it goes to one system, it has to be voted for something else. They got to double check it, send it back. So no matter what you think and how great you think you are, it's always best to have a mentor, someone to look into you to help you see greater than you. I am Ebony W, aka Fit Ebony from the Fit Team. This is Trainer Talk Thursday. Thank you so much for coming of out. Course and giving us such a great topic. See you guys next week on Trainer Talk Thursday. Yep.